are you? That's how he does it to me every single time. Right, um, Crafty Samari to put a video up of foul folder made out of envelopes. Now, these envelopes, I've had them round for um, 20 odd years. Uh, that's actual natural, they used to be white, so <laughs> um, they're a bit brittle. Um, so I'm edging them with this really terrible tape. It's really bad. Uh, I edged them with tape down the long side to cut them in half and then uh, edged them with tape at the tops uh, in the middle and then a little bit, no, a little bit either side and then in the middle where they're going to get stuck. Um... I made a template so I knew where I was going to put the glue and that went past way too quick. You can sort of see what I've done. Now I'm gluing two sheets of lining paper which goes underneath your wallpaper for walls, freshly plastered walls and stuff. And I'm packing all my papers in and some tissues because I'm gluing it front to back so it keeps them propped open as such. You'll see. Right, this is um, what I learnt off Barbone um, paste paper. It's totally addictive. What I did is I mixed up some thick wallpaper paste and then I decanted some into little tubs because I'm not doing loads and loads of sheets like Barb does. I'm just doing this one and another one with little leftover bits. Um, put a bit in each cup, added a dollop of paint, um, then used it up like that. And what you do is you get a credit card type of thing, key card, whatever, and... I just used a hole punch and cut arches into and as you can see the different spacing different widths of holes and the bits it's difficult to explain the holes leave the paint behind the bits that stick out like the comb teeth um, scrape off the paint and make sure you wipe it each time that's what that little piece of paper is at the side and I did it with two colours and each time I think and did a metallic gold one um, I sort of veered off from what Barb does in a minute as well I that's just the used up scrap and so is that just that's that what i'm using this folder for is to keep all my little wipe off papers like that that's why it's so small because i use them papers a lot um this piece of paper actually turned out really pretty but so did the folder and the inside of the folder I just thought I'd keep these in just to show you what different directions look like. Here I'm edging round the edge with um, matching colours, not matching, um, colours that went right with it. Right, this is where I'm verging off from what Bob does as well, I'm stamping and then doing more over the top because Bob sometimes does it on um, scrapbook paper what she calls it ugly scrapbook paper um, I was just doing it on white so I wanted a bit of extra in there so I decided to do a bit of stamping underneath some of the layers uh, that's really pretty is that one that I did if anybody wants me to show you that one slowed down I will do you know what hand movement made it um, that's a bit more simpler one but it's uh, it, 
it's great it's really really good to do i think um d betsy doodle thinks she'll love it won't she she'll proper love it um this is the inside cover i didn't bother doing the middle bit because as i say i'm sticking the file folder front and back open so i just threw a bit of paint on there in case you could see down a little bit but i didn't think there were any point really in covering it all stamping inside with a couple of butterfly ones really tiny one big one um the glue that i because the envelopes are very very old i don't think they're going to last right long but the cover is really really sturdy and i think it will so the glue that i stuck the insides in with sorry i mod podged it front and back first then when i stuck the insides in i stuck it inside with um a glue that's washable so basically when the middle bit disintegrates i can soak it and i'll be able to get it off and put a new inside in if you will um here i'm just edging it with some navy blue and i couldn't find my black pit pen so i ended up going around with um a blue sharper sharpie marker there you go but i hope mick can photograph it right because i i hold it to the side in a minute this is me yeah gloss mod podging it um when you look at it side on it looks like you can see under the layers it's see what i mean one pattern stands out then you twist it and another pattern stands out it's it's bizarre but lovely it really is pretty anyway i hope you enjoyed it um why are you waving your hand you look like queen yabba 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 sorry he's miming at me again anyway i hope you enjoyed it and give it a go because it's it's just brilliant it's really really good fun if you want any more information there's barb or you can ask me to do a slower version that's it hope you like it um please share it stop waving at me <laughs> please share it and give it a thumbs up um do what you do best Is that it no what have i forgot thanks for watching what <laughs> what <laughs> just speak god you're a cretin right thanks for watching bye what just turn it off Pictures, yeah, pictures going past. What? Stop it. <laughs> You're annoying. Look, if I knew what button to press, I would press the button.